So Irish whiskey number one, and in no particular order. Number one. In green spots. Don't know anything about it. Don't know anything about green spot. Number two Irish whiskey, Silky, the legendary Silky. <laughs> silky, the legendary Silky. Well, it's, it's just the legendary Silky. Oh, the legendary. legendary Silky Irish whiskey. <laughs> and then Writer's Tears Copper Pots. All right, so the next one is Writer's Tears Double Oaked. We're not trying all of these. No, we're going to try five. We're just going to have a little sample of five. Okay. And the next one, Proper 12. Which I've tried before, but I've tried a few of these. And next, Red Breast Single Pot Steel PX Sherry Cask Finish. Mm, that's your favorites in the sherry cask. And the next one is one I have tried, Yellow Spot 12. Let's get these guys out of the way. And then next, Red Breast 15. Which I did try. Bushmills 12. And another Silky, silky. the legendary Dark Silky. Mm. Um, I think that's, oh, and then we've got just a little bit of Jameson. A little bit of Jameson, little, little bit of Jameson right there. <laughs> All right, so these are your options. Remember these options. He said, who's going to pick them? The leaderboard right there. Right now, Tommy gets one, Henry gets one, Stephen gets one, and Brenda Son, Brendason, <laughs> Brendan, Brendason. I don't. Brenda Son sounds good. It's like it's like the crowd of kids. <clears throat> Brenda Son. Vote for proper twelve. You like Bruzel too much to vote for proper twelve. I'm a just a sipping. I absolutely. Four Leaf do. doesn't like sherry finished, and like sherry finish is the only thing I found I like. <laughs> so uh, we just we just hey, I tell you what, I'll get I'll take all the sherry fish. Oh, sherry, I can't even talk. Sherry finished. Sherry uh, finished whiskeys. That's what I was trying to say. I was trying to talk too fast, and then you could take all the non sherry finished ones. All right, so right now the top of the list here is Richard Anderson. Richard says green spots. So grab that green spot over there, Jill. Slide it out of the way. The next one is 13K. 13K, you still here? Pick one of these. Okay. Tommy Thyroid and colonoscopy. Y'all pick one as well. Jill, is there one in particular you would like to try? Well, I'm going to wait till they finish picking. Okay. Because they may pick one for me. Vandy 13, Man picks me by, by the van. 13K picked Red Breast PX. Okay. Yeah, that's my, that's, that's my jam right there. I don't think Jill's tried that yet. Yeah, well, I can't see. I can I can pull it up over here. Yeah. I can pull it up over here. Um, so we're going to give them just a minute here. After that, it is Bobby from Mississippi Sippers. Bobby, you want to throw one in here? If you're still hanging around. And then Sean. I don't know if Sean dropped one in here. Sean Hankins. Is it? I think it's Hankins, yeah. Whiskey Outlaw just got back from Ireland and visited all the major distilleries. Sean says Red Breast 15 right there. So he wants to go with the Red Breast 15. That's three of them. The Bushmills 12, Jason Gardner says. All right, so I'll take the Bushmills. Which writer's tears? The Double Oak, Copper Pot, Double Oak, Double Oak, Copper Gee, it's like split o. down the yeah. middle at this point. Copper, copper, copper. Uh, copper's, copper's winning. Copper's All right, winning. copper's called. It's called Copper Pot. Give me the Copper Pot. Let's get the copper, rest copper, of these copper, guys copper. out of the way. And our goal here is to find two Irish whiskeys that both you and I like. And I do not think it's possible. I think we're both going to like the Red. I'm going to like the Red Breast PX. I don't think, I don't think I'll find a second one. Okay. Because I don't think any of these are sherry finished and those are the... Copper Pot's killing it right now. Yeah. Move the rest of these out of the way. All right, so let's try this. We're going to try Writer's Tears Copper Pot first. Now, this is Irish whiskey. This is Irish whiskey. Yes, ma'am. It sure is. Are you making fun of me? I'm not making fun of you at all. I love your accent when it gets thick like that, you know? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> did not. Bite it open. Just, 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 just chip a tooth. It's not bad. <laughs> You're an Irish 
whiskey guy. It's not. See, I'm starting to. I'm starting. To, if the maltiness is soft and it's got some like fruitiness to go with it, I'm starting to get like I don't know if I'll ever get to scotch. But that's. I'm starting. I don't know. Like it's not like bourbon where I'm like, oh my god, I love that. Hmm. But it's starting to be like, okay, I can deal with that. What do you think of this one, Jill? That one's pleasant. If you had it at a bar, would you order a second pour? Mm. I would not. I would not. I would. I wouldn't dislike. I would drink the whole pour I bought. Yeah. But I would not buy a second one at this point. And it's just because I'm still a little iffy on the Irish whiskey maltiness. Like if if I were over that maltiness, I think this would be exceptional. It's just going to take me a little while longer to get on that maltiness train. Yeah. So this Bushmills 12 opens. So we apparently tried it at some point. That smells pretty good. Still a little bit of maltiness there. Oh, James, James got to go ahead and push this over too. Nah, nah. That's not my jam. No. All right, so I would take the Rider's Tears over the Bushmill. Like, it's just, this has got some interesting things going on. I'll give it that. There were some things there I'm like, okay, I like it. But there's some things there where I'm just like, I'm not ready for this. I think if you're into Irish whiskey, you'd probably like those things. I wasn't ready for them. I wasn't ready for them. Couldn't handle them. What do you think? Would you drink a pour if somebody poured you a whole one? I don't drink a, pour, a whole pour of anything, so probably not. You'd drink a whole pour of a Willet Purple Top if I poured you one. Well, yeah. If I gave you a William LaRue yeah. or a Coy Hill, yeah. even though it's like 197 yeah. nuclear proof, you'd there drink it all. There are few that I would drink a whole pour so of. So I'm just saying, if you went to a restaurant and but you ordered that. I, like, I actually like this one better than the other one. Okay. Ooh, now we're getting crazy. It's still getting crazy. Yeah, I like that one better. Ah, the malting is just super strong on that one to me. You want more of it? No. Next one. All right. Now we are to the Red Breast 15. This one smells the best. Out of all these we've had thus far, out of those three, this one smells the best. And this is the Red Breast 15. Is it the one you've had? Mm -mm. I mean, I think I had it. That's pretty good. Is That's it also the best. In it's, no, no, I don't think so. This one's just single pot still. Stone fruit mingles with cracked pepper. Giving away to burly and toasted wood. The maltiness on that's very subtle. Like that is that is the best one out of the three so far. To me. Yeah. You agree? Yes. Okay. Like we're all, we're red breast fans, apparently. Who knew? I so didn't even freaking know. That and that definitely. I even almost get like a little bit of a bourbon. Yeah, I can see where you get that. It's just kind of a little, little of that sweetness to it. Yeah. That's probably why I absolutely love this one, because then you finish it in sherry, and it just kind of tastes like a bourbon almost. Uh -huh. So Bye, this is the, the Red Bye, Breast Bye, Irish Whiskey PX Sherry Hog's Head. So they soak it in pig's head. It's hog's head sherry. What does that mean? Please I don't, don't know. tell me that. <laughs> It's like this one, but then they just added caramel flavoring to it. We're, right now, we are just, we, we will rank them later. We'll rank them in a second. Right now, it's just, I just randomly started tasting them. But they are getting better to me, other than this. I'd, I'd flip these two, but we're in, we're in order from worst to first at this point. Is that the best one? You don't like that caramel note? Yeah, I do. You, you I just seem don't to be know pondering. if it's much, it's not much different than this one to me. Much, I get a on lot more end, caramel. Yeah. I get a lot more caramel on that one. I get caramel like on the end, like just, it's leaving me with caramel. Yes. I didn't get it at first, but now it's leaving me with caramel. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. On its way out, it leaves yeah. you a little gift, a little nice little caramel gift. All right, so I have not tried Green Spot. We tried the yellow spot. I think somebody had asked about it on one of the streams. So we popped it open. And now we are trying green spot. And by the way, most of these, except for that red breast, all came from Spillway. And that event we did in Mississippi, that video should be coming out this week, probably Friday. 
Um, I'm excited about that. It's probably our biggest video yet. Um, so I'm going to be excited to see how that video turns out. Green, green spot. What is green spot? Single pot still Irish whiskey, triple distilled Irish whiskey. Hmm. Doesn't say it's finished or anything like that. It's just green spot. All right. So I don't like the smell as much as the red breast, just because I don't get all those kind of fruity, sweet aromas that I, I'm looking for in a bourbon. Right. Obviously, these are not bourbons, but. It gives me some of those, though. Like the the maltiness is very subdued. It's like a green apple. Like somebody mentioned that earlier, and I definitely get like a nice green apple on that. That's that's tough right there, because like where do I green apple's not a flavor I'm looking for, but it's nice. Like that's surprising. That green apple note is just surprising on that one. I feel like I'm, I'm like the largest whiskey, Irish whiskey influencer in the world now. Like, we're going to have to start an Irish whiskey channel. What do you think? They'd kill me. I'd have Irish people sending me, like, car bombs <laughs> and stuff. That's interesting. You've tasted the green apple? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I'd see why they, they called it green spot. I don't know if that's coincidence or not. Okay, so now we need to rank these. Mm. That green apple. I don't know where to put that. Like, that might be better than this. Is there any left? I don't want to pour another one, but... What's your order? Um... I'm, st I'm on the struggle bus right now, I'm going to be honest with you. I am on the struggle bus. Cause like this is my phase phase. This is the only I, the only Irish whiskey I've had that I would say I actually like. And now we might have three or four I kind of like. I would say this is my favorite. So you like that one over all of them? Yes. <sighs> and then I'd say close between these two. That one's good. Close I'll be between honest. These that one's two. good. And then that one and that one. So which one did I like best? Oh, I like the 15 better. The 15 is my favorite. That is good. Here's the problem is I don't really want to be the guy that likes Irish whiskey. I kind of like being the guy that doesn't like them. Like what you want to like. I know. I know. It's kind of fun, though, to, like, I, if I start like, see, the problem is, is this is like step one to liking scotch, <laughs> right? And then, like, then Nate will be like, see, I told you, and I don't, I don't need that. I don't need that negativity in my life. I don't need Nate being like, welcome to the dark side. <laughs> to the dark Red Breast 27? <laughs> Lord, Sean, I feel like I need this at this point. As good as that 15 is. Yeah, the 15 is really good. Like, I like that one a lot. So, for me... The Bushmills was good, but it had some weirdness going on to it. There's a little bit of an odd flavor there. There's just some oddness to that, and a lot of maltiness in that. So that's going to be the worst one for me. This is second to the last. This is second to the last. And it's, it's fine. Like, that's fine. I could drink that. I don't love it. It's fine. But, like, honestly, I kind of dig these three here. Yeah, they were I all. I kind of dig these all three. All three of these are good. And so this one is. It's good. That's It's hard to rank these. Like, these, I'm, I'm good with these two, and I'm good saying these three are better. But it's really hard for me to put these in an order at this point. Because I want this, I'm craving the sweetness of a bourbon. I'm craving all of those like caramel, um, fruity flavors. And so if I were grading this as a bourbon, I would put this one third. Now, there'd be a big old, like I'd put these on this side somewhere and I'd move these over here, right? Like there's a gap. There's a gap. But like if I'm, if I'm looking for those bourbon flavors, then I'm going to put these ahead of it because it's got some of those... This has a lot of those caramel notes I'm accustomed to on a whiskey that I really like. And this one's got that just weird green apple. And like, do I like caramel or green apple better? I think the green apple 
is the most unusual mm, note to yeah. me. Like it's just something I don't see a lot in a whiskey like that. So I probably put that ahead of the Red Breast PX, and that is freaking surprising. So, I, I feel like I'm growing. I feel like I'm developing. I'm learning. I just think this one's the best because it 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 gave me a bourbon, like like it just reminded me of a bourbon. Apparently, Green Spot and Red Breast are from the same distillery. Uh, <laughs> no wonder we like them. So those are the those are the best three out of those. Um, but y'all, let me know which one of these would y'all rank as the best ones. Let me know. This is Welsh whiskey, so they just they make it in, in. a different country. <laughs> I don't freaking know what what are Welsh people? Where are they from? I don't, I don't freaking know. What I, 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 don't a, think I ain't a freaking geography major. <laughs> they're not in Ireland. They're not in Scotland. Apparently, I don't know. Are you sure? No, they may be, but why do they call it Welsh whiskey? I don't know. Anybody it's got know a beautiful why? bottle. Oh, the bottle is gorgeous. Wales, there you Wales. Oh. I, yeah. I, I knew that. Yeah. I've just drank a lot. Scotland and Ireland and Wales. Yeah. It smells pretty good. D it, now, is this Johnny Come Lately? Or are they like, hey, Irish people are making popular whiskey. Scotch is it a people mix are make, between the Scotch both? people are making popular whiskey. Why don't we make some Welsh whiskey? Oh, God. Um. That's that's complicated. My relationship with that is extremely complicated. That's right, Mark. You passed. I was testing you. Try it. Like it's it, like that is like that is a ride. That's a roller coaster. There's like at first it's it, it goes from like can it goes from like Irish whiskey to scotch to candy to like it, there's like four different experiences. It's it's one of the more complicated things I've ever drank in my entire life, and not all of it good. I like that. Okay, there's some good things going on, but it's like you took a really good whiskey and you just poured some hairspray in it. No. Yeah. No. no. There's very much like a aqua no. velvet kind of. Nope. You know. I disagree. Kind of, yeah, disagree. just like kind of hairspray. I disagree. And whiskey. There's some good things going on there, but there's some bad things going on too. Mm -mm. So this is, I, out of all these we tried, this was your favorite? No. Where would it rank? This one's still my favorite. Where would this one rank in this list though? Keep in mind it's Welsh, so you may start like world wars and stuff with this. I'm sorry. I you like may start this world one. wars at this point, Jill. The politics, it's over here. the politics that come from this, it's, it's definitely on you. over this here. This is on you, Jill. You take you take responsibility for this. I, it's definitely in this area. Okay. I really like that. And the bottle is number the bottle's one. top notch. Yeah, the bottle bottle's top one. notch. It's got wings and stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. Beautiful. It's pretty cool. I what mean, does it I say on the side? It's got it, stuff. It uh, says Welch, Welch Gold, Gold A U R C Y M R U. Those are not English words. <laughs> at least not in my English. Oh my goodness! Look at this. It's got like a little crest on it, like the. Is that Does that a horse? make it better? Does that make it better? Mm. Everything's cool. got a horse on That's it. Cool. It's really collectible. That is cool. What's the, What's proof? the proof? Not sure. Looks like ninety-two proof. 92 proof. So you think it's on that side? Yeah. But below the 15. So right there? No, I didn't say right there. Okay. So where? Um, I would probably have to investigate it some more. And you don't just want to do that. No, I'm not doing that today. Okay. But just as the first little... And you know, I just like took a tiny sip. So... Uh, it... it it's probably gonna be. It's probably gonna be here. Okay. Just for now. I would, I would agree with that. I would go back and just uh, just out of how many crazy things are going on. I'm not sure I'd put it on this side, but I'd put it on this end of this side, which makes it technically in the same spot. Like I don't know if I enjoyed it because there's just so much good and bad going on with it for me. I but I did like it better spray. than this. Yeah. I, was, I didn't get any oh. hairspray. 